All right. What's the YouTube? HPJ here, and I'm coming at you guys today with a discussion video slash a discussion in an update video, not a discussion slash no a discussion in an update video. Um, I have been going through a lot um, these last couple of of weeks, these last couple of months, and it's been so much that hasn't been said that needs to be said and it needs to be addressed there's a lot of things that have come up once again and it's just some nasty toxic things that have to be addressed as well so i'm taking time out to talk about it um the reason why there's background music to this is because um unfortunately my neighbors decided to want to um have their party uh the same time i want to record stuff happens so i'm just trying to at least get deal with it as best as i possibly can so i want to talk as loud as i possibly can but also you know have something to drown out the music um in the, the extended background as i record so um just with that said i just want everyone to know that i'm perfectly okay um, if you haven't been, if you've been following me on social media, um, one of the biggest things that has just pretty much hurt me at this point is the lack of support that I've gotten. Um, it's not from directly anyone, it's from just a direct amount of people. And it's people that I would have considered my friends, but aren't my friends. And the people who are my friends are being as supportive as they possibly can. So, I do want to thank them for that. I know it cuts into a lot of people's schedules, but all I really just ask for is just a like and a subscribe. I mean, you don't have to stay too long, you don't have to be here all the time, but it just shows a little bit of appreciation. Um, especially because I know a lot of people do the exact same thing I do, and it is very difficult for a lot of us to, um, do a lot of these things. You know, YouTube is very, very difficult because you have so many things you have to, you have to do. And I just want people to understand that I love being on YouTube. I love doing deck profiles. I love doing my live streams. Um, I just feel a little underappreciated by people who don't really know me. And that's part of the reason why I've been getting so upset and, and just lashing out. Is because I'm not really being affirmative like I should be. I'm not being as vocal as I should be. So I'm taking the time out to be as vocal and as headstrong as I possibly can be when it comes to a lot of subjects, with a lot of things. So, with that said, um, I just want to get through a lot of the discussions of, of, of this video. Um, one of the big discussions has been content on the channel. And I just want everyone to understand, this channel is primarily Harpy Lady. This is primarily Harpy decks, Harpy deck profiles, and a lot of the Harpy stuff that I've done over the, the last... Well, since I started playing this game. Um, for those who don't know and probably are now just looking at this, um, I've been playing, I've been, this channel's been up for almost 10 years now. Um, I'll be, it'll be nine years next month. I mean, next, uh, January. I'm gonna say next month. Because next month is <laughs> December. Um, but it's been up for nine years now. Almost nine years now. I've worked very, very hard. Blood, sweat, tears. Um, everything, being ridiculed, being attacked, um, you know, feelings hurt, loss of friends, everything, um, because of the channel, and it's not gonna stop me from being on my channel, and doing the stuff that I do on my channel, so for those who want clarification of, you know, was I really serious about quitting, I've considered it a lot of times. But I think what the issue is, is that I expect, people expect so much of me that I can't give. And I'm expecting so much from people who aren't going to give. And 
that's pretty much something that does have to change. Is I just have to be happy with the fact that the little people I have are going to be the little people that I have. Um, regardless of what I have and what I don't. Now, what I do have is something that I do want to address. Uh, for people who may not know it, I do have other deck profiles on my channel. I have, I'll even post it in the description. Um, a link to what I'm actually, what I'm looking at right now. This is my Harpy, my non-Harpy deck profiles. This is everything I've played from Performer How, Performer Mage. I've played, um, I haven't played Pure True Draco. I actually want to work on that. Um, but I've played Great Keepers. I've played Medulce. I did a thing about the Amazonas. I've done, I've done a lot of stuff, um, in regards to... The game as a whole it just hasn't really been seen because primarily well my main focus on this channel is being a harpy player so a lot of people may not get the reasons why behind that but i'll talk about it anyway um since i started playing the game well i was playing the game before 2009 i didn't get into the competitive scene till 2009 2010 and there weren't a lot of harpy players um it was just funny because Harpy's had got a whole bunch of new stuff. We had got Hysteric Party. We had get Harpy Queen. Um, and then we jumped right into the Synchro format. So it wasn't like Harpy's didn't have the support. It's just no one knew what direction to take Harpy's in. And I did try my best. It just never really worked out for me. So at the end of the Synchro format and onto the XC era, from the end of the Synchro era, um, being president Yu-Gi-Oh! to the Exceed era, in terms of why I dropped Harpies and then became, and then started doing a lot of these other decks to say, okay, since everyone was making fun of the fact that I didn't, I just play one particular deck, here, let me show you what I do know, and I actually did really well, it's just Harpy Lady is my primary deck, it's what I do spend the most time and effort on, um, not to say I didn't with a lot of the other decks, it's just those decks unfortunately didn't cater to me like I wanted them to um so now after all this time I can finally say okay well I can manage between Harpies and other decks and you know I have access to it now because I have access to well internet I have access to you know YGO Pro and being able to build a lot of those older decks um so to expect a lot of those older decks to come back or be seen uh one of the big things that was left on my channel through my Grave Keepers video was, oh, you have other deck profiles. It's good to see other deck profiles on your channel. And it's like, they've been here. Where have you guys been? Like, guys, I've had these things for a while. I've been here for long enough. It's just to a lot of newer players, probably or a lot of newer viewers and players, they probably haven't seen it. So I just want to make sure you guys do see it. And, I'll try to adjust it to where you guys can see it on the main page. So it's, you know, Harpy deck profiles, um, you know, the puzzles and dragons, and then, you know, other deck profiles that aren't Harpy related will be posted as well. And I'll try to get on a lot more of those because the time, between the time of this recording, which is no, the early of November, we won't see the new Harpy stuff in Japan till the end of November, till the end of this week. And then we'll see the Harpy stuff in January for the TCG um, when that comes out. So that's when I'll really blow up with Harpy Lady videos because I'm going to be going ham on Harpy videos. Like, you guys have not seen anything. Like, I go, go full throttle with Harpy Lady deck profiles. Like, there's no other. And be ready for that because that's where I'm really going to shine. Um... Now, in terms of everything else, um, if there are other decks that I see, I will post um, and make videos of them. I have four, actually, that I'm thinking about um, coming up very soon. And one of them is actually a callback to a deck that I wanted to play for a while. I just never had the chance to. So I hope you guys do enjoy that. So now with the, the non harpy stuff addressed... Let's talk about the Harpy ladies. Let's talk about Harpies in general. I have over two, over 150 videos of Harpy stuff in a, um, in this playlist. And 
since I started this channel, I've had good feeling. I have good reviews. I've had bad reviews. And I've had people who question me and shouldn't be questioning me. So I want to make this very clear. I know how my deck is ran and I know how my deck flows because I know my play style and I know my skills. And there are cards that I've played that I just don't like and they don't work for me. They may work for other people. There are some cards that just don't work at all. And those have been proven and tested. Now, with that said, I think it's time that we address the elephant in the room. And a lot of you guys are going, are probably knowing exactly what I'm talking about. So we're going to address it here. So we're going to address Harpy Empress once and for all. I don't like how Empress attacked. First of all, you attack my character and you attack who I am as a player. Not only that, but you personally attacked me when you called me an idiot. When you called me stupid and told me I was too emotional. And, oh, that was jealous. One, I've never been jealous of anyone. I don't have, there's nothing for me to be jealous of. You have nothing that I want, nothing that I am seeking after or anything. I've been on YouTube for nine years. I've been playing this game since it came out. It was actually playing since 2004 for when a lot of the big stuff hit. So, to tell someone who has knowledge of this game that they're jealous of you is ridiculous. Then, I also want to point that the way you attacked people on their Harpy decks and on how they built their decks is very nasty. And I don't advise by that. And when you call someone too emotional first off everyone is very emotional when they and passionate when they come to doing things that they like or things that they love and that's what people on youtube do every day look at any look at any youtuber who's had who does gaming look at anyone who does cooking look at anyone who does Yu-Gi-Oh. they're very passionate about the things they do it may not seem to you that is passionate but to those people they're very passionate and very happy about the things that they've done and are doing and for you to attack any of them is very disrespectful and it won't be stand for and and just for the record i would never be jealous of somebody who just has a whole bunch of who doesn't really have anything to be jealous of you have nothing i want to be jealous of and i'm very you know very clear nothing Nothing at all. Just a handful of videos. I'd rather be jealous of of a bag of Skittles. Because they taste very good, actually. And I love a bag of Skittles. But I have nothing to be jealous of Harvey Empress for. There's nothing to ever be jealous of the next person for. And I want anyone to know that. Don't ever be jealous of someone else. Always enjoy what you have and be happy of the things that you do have. And achieve in anything else. And what you work hard for is what you work hard for. Never let anyone tell you otherwise. So with that said, um, he may not even speak to me after this. I might get a nasty, nasty thing from this. But I did want to bring up my issues with a couple of other YouTubers. Um, ironically enough, if I click on one thing, they'll click on the other. Um, so no offense to Slim, but I'm just never gonna work with slim again um just on the basis of i feel like us working together or whatever i wanted to call that it's just not gonna work out and i do appreciate for you trying but i think at the point of i'm not a competitive video player and that's where a lot of the whole we don't work well together situation is gonna happen i'm very casual i'm very lenient i have pretty much one deck that i focus on so i do understand if it's not something that he wants to do or work on um this isn't an attack on him at all and you know if anyone does support him then by all means support him but for me honestly i don't think i'll see us working together again thank you for the opportunity thank you for the chance but at this point it's just not gonna work out and 
at the caliber of where we are, I think it probably is just best that we just don't work together. Because I also think, well, this is just my opinion, how I feel about this situation, is that because of where I stand in Yu-Gi-Oh!, I don't think I'm ever going to be able to stand in the same vases or place that he does when it comes to Yu-Gi-Oh!, and I am perfectly okay with that. Like, nothing else can be said. Now, what I can say about a couple of other historians, I'm not going to say, but let's just cut that bush there. I ain't trying to kiss no ass, but I just wanted to be known that I'm happy where I am, and I'm going to have to make my way just like everybody else does. So, I'm glad to just get that elephant out the room. Oh, and I can't stand Mega Capital G. And that's for a lot of reasons of... I don't do clickbait, and you'll never see clickbait on this channel, and damn the day I have to do clickbait to get people's attention, because that's not how I operate, um, so, yeah, alright, discussion part of the video is over, um, <laughs> now let's go on to, well, we're really here for the updates, um, so as everyone knows, I was doing live stream variations of Pokemon Ruby version, I was 15 videos in. Wow. So that was 15 sessions of of, of Pokemon from Gen 3. Um, unfortunately, I'm going to have to cut it short. And the main reason why I'm cutting it short is because, unfortunately, it's not working out well. Um, in terms of... I'm not generating enough traffic like I thought I was. It was a big shock to a lot of people to see me Let's Play. Um, or do a live Let's Play, actually. And even though it is one of my favorite games, if it's not generating enough people, then at a point where I have to say, okay, it's just time to move on. So that's primarily where I am right now um, in terms of this. And... I want people to understand, I, I, I haven't given up on it, but it's, it's okay to say it's time to put, put the strings down, and that's pretty much what I'm doing with this, um, if I come back to it, I'll come back to it, and I'll let you guys know, but for right now, I'm not coming back to it, my live streams now will be focused on, well, Puzzles and Dragons, which has been one of my bigger focuses, so, um, for the channel in general. There is one game that I did want to do a live stream for. Um, and I'm probably not going to do it. Um, or maybe I'll surprise people with it. Maybe like I do a holiday special or something. Or a holiday le let's play or a live stream. And I'll do that video. And maybe I'll spark up some people. And if people's reactions to it are positive, then I'll do it. Um, it's just not for right now. Um... In terms of that. So I'll be focusing on Puzzles and Dragons. Doing a lot of Puzzles and Dragons things. And having some fun with Pad. Um, so because I also do this on. I also live stream on Twitch. Thanks to my recorder. So. Um, yeah. it will be up there. And hopefully you guys enjoy it. Because I want to try to do more videos, I want to try to do more updates, because Pad updates practically almost every two, three weeks, um, we'll know something new, they'll have new monsters, and I can give my opinion on these new monsters as well, because I have been studying up on my Puzzles and Dragons information, so, um, you guys will see a lot of that, and hopefully you guys enjoy that as well, um, live streams, and, well, I don't know what my YGO Pro, um, Let's Plays and stuff will be. They'll probably just be there to be there. Um, if I ever get the chance to want to go back to that. Because a lot of people are very picky about that um, situation. So I'll just let that be what it is. If I decide to live stream Yu-Gi-Oh! I'll live stream Yu-Gi-Oh! But if I don't, it'll most likely just still be Puzzles and Dragons being live streamed. Um, and also with live stream schedules, I'll just live stream whatever the hell I feel like it. Um, I was trying to primarily keep it on the weekends, because people were like, oh, live stream on the weekends. And when I did, no one showed up. So at this point, I just frequently live stream when I feel the need to live stream. Which will primarily be on the weekends, or maybe Wednesdays, depending on how my schedule is on Wednesdays. Um, 
But I gotta work out a schedule as well. Like, and, and stick to it. Because I've been very good with the whole weekend ones. But I decided to live stream on Wednesday, on Saturday and Sunday. Because I just felt like it was more convenient. Um, I don't know. I just have to work out my live stream schedule. And then I'll let you guys know about it. Um, anything else? I don't know. I'm just going through the list. I talked about live streams, live plays, um, deck profiles. Okay, deck profiles. So pretty much um, a lot of them are going to be digital. For the time being, till um, the TCG gets the Duelist of Legends uh, Sisters of the Roses pack, which is the one that all the new Harpy stuff is coming in. And if any new Harpy cards do come out, I'll review and do um, analysis for them. I do have a couple more deck profiles to come up, so stay tuned for that. And um, yeah, that's it. All right, so with that all said and done. Um, if you guys have any more questions, anything you'd want me to elaborate on, or just to get more of a solid conclusion to what I was talking about, please feel free to comment in the comment section below. Um, I hope you guys do enjoy my content. Um, I hope the next couple of months go well for me and you guys. And just stay tuned for more. So, thanks everyone for taking the time out to hear me. Um, thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And till next time, HPJ signing out. Take care, everyone.